the crazy shit I do for you guys. Hola, peoples. Um, it's yet another day. This is where we left off. We we're putting the put in the factory chain ring. We call these chain rings now, not sprockets. Um, shows you how old I am. So we're gonna put the factory one on. Luna Cycle has not been kind in responding. They responded yesterday asking me for a photo of the um, receipt or the uh, packing slip where it says shipped separately my custom chain ring 36 tooth one which is like this big uh, they asked for a picture I sent it at 8.30 last night it's probably about uh, oh, I don't know 1 or 2 o'clock p.m. Um, mountain time hopefully they get that in the chain ring is easy enough to, to change I just have to pull the, the crank off I may have to use the crank puller that comes in that kit to take this off but really, it's just that you just take this off and you take the five screws off. You put the new one on, put the chain on, bang, and you're, and you're back in business. It's not something that's going to take uh, more than a few minutes. Now today, what I want to do is I kind of figured out before I turned the cameras on how I wanted to run the wiring. So um, they recommend on the opposite side of the chain, uh, up along the side. So I was going to go f this way across the front. And then I realized if I ever hit anything, it's going to destroy the wires. I think back here, if you see how how level that is right there, if I have this tied tied down, most likely something's going to hit this before it'll hit the wires. So, and then you, um, well, this chain ring isn't going to be in the way, but it really, if I hit anything that deep, uh, would be pretty rare. Uh, I'm not going to be doing lots of like serious mountain biking with this. This is this is more transportation for me, off-road transportation, than it is for me taking up a mountain bike hobby. No further ado, let's go ahead and continue on the build. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the pedals and the chain ring on. Part two, more like, can we get this big ass thing to fit in there? That's. That's more or less what it comes down to, so. So, this being the input for the battery, which slides in like that, this should be mounted down like this. And of course, like I suspected, this one was too far back. But I can get one, it looks like I can get one in there. And then the rest will have to just be zip ties. Before I tighten it all the way, let's see what we got. Oh man, that's, that's tight. I'm gonna have to actually slip it forward a bit. Yeah, because it won't slip down. Man, I, I have almost no room to do this. This is gonna be really tight. Well, the thing is, I couldn't find any measurements. Uh, this bike is so new, it's not on Moto B Kane's website. So I couldn't get measurements of these tubes. I had to just guess. But this, they didn't have the shark battery in stock. They had the dolphin, so I went for the dolphin. The shark is actually a little bit smaller. Try right there. Yeah, this bump up here is the issue. Oh, that's just, just, just gonna fit. So when I get the right screw, you see that gap there matches that gap there. I should be able to just get that thing slid on. So let me zip tie. Let's see, will one fit? Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I wanted to use two anyway. So maybe this will be a alternate way to do that. One of the most important things to carry with you when you're RVing is zip ties and duct tape. 
And those are two things you want to always have on hand, not to mention the regular tool set. A lot of people don't realize you have like little brackets and things break. Uh, like for example, well, I, I can't use zip ties as an example for this, but bungees, bring bungees, because I'm bungeeing my exhaust stuff on my generator because it's loose. And without it, it's super loud. Okay, battery is in. That was the big worry, was getting that to fit. All right, um, now I know I gotta do this wheel sensor, so I may as well do it while the bike's upside down. This is, I think this is the sensor. Yep, basically this part here screws onto your spoke, all right? It's got a magnet side so you put the magnet facing in and it's got the sensor tiny little screw and the sensor actually it's got a little eye beam on it so you can slide it up and down to get a kind of get it where you need to go and it's got this this sticks some kind of tape when we get it on a close spoke and I think I'll put it just put it over here next to the valve, try to keep it balanced with the, with the reflector, I guess. I'm not going to tighten that until we're exactly sure of the position. Maybe this goes like that, and then that comes past it like that, and it doesn't point at it. Oh, I see. It's got a little target on it. See that? That's where you want it to hit. Okay, well that makes sense. I decided since the cabling is going to be on this side. Okay, so we got plenty of space there. I could have ran it over there, but honestly I want to keep everything away from the chain. It probably makes sense to do it like this. And just have the hydraulic, or you know, have the hydraulic cable in the way. Just stuck this, uh, the throttle sensor or the uh, speed sensor to the inside of the rail here. And I'm just lining up the magnet for its final position here. I keep bumping the camera. Okay. So then we just push this out to where it's close. I think that's, that's probably close enough. This is all shoot from the hip. You kind of have to figure it out as you go. We should be okay on that. Okay, so uh, that's already hooked up. I don't need to do anything else except zip tie this, and I'll do all the zip ties last because I might need to do a little rerouting. Uh, in this case, I'd probably zip it. There's a little hole there. Zip it through there, then zip it back here, and zip it there. Zip it real good. Again, it shows my age. No one has any idea what I'm talking about. Oh, that's so much heavier. That's way heavier than before. Okay, here's the sensors for the brake. That's for that. And is this the harness? And this is the harness. Oh, I see, that's what the arrow. I was wondering what the arrows were for. I didn't realize that was for hooking everything up. Well, they give you just enough, don't they? And then this. I suspect they have it designed to go between the, just like that right in the middle. Uh, yeah, you know, I can keep my reflector there. I don't think it's gonna make any difference. I can spread that apart a little. It's got a little USB port for doing your thing. 
yeah, this needs to go somewhere. I probably want this on the left side because I have lots of things going on on the right side. Between the shifter, and I'll probably want to have the throttle here. And the reason why I'm gonna put the throttle and the shift on the same side as the shifter is so I'll have to let off the throttle to change gears because that's what you, uh, I didn't get the extra thingy that does that. Well, that's why they give you three screws. So I can mount this over here and this would give me the, uh, allow me to do the headlights and, and all that. So that looks perfect. Let's see if I can get this on without breaking anything. Yeah, I guess they assume that they assume most people don't carry Allen wrenches around with them when they're still on bikes. So they, instead of using like typical, instead of using typical tools, everything's Allen wrench. So let me test something. Let's not plug it in. Plug it in. The harness here. Now this is green. So we got a green. You guys can see that. Green the green. Just like that. And I'm going to see if the power comes on. Now. Okay, so the battery it does has to be has, does have to be pushed all the way down for it to kick in. Yeah, my booze, my 70% isopropyl alcohol to take that hand grip off. Speaking of booze, I think I'm gonna have a beer. tell what I'm doing but I'm basically trying to shove this Allen wrench down the down the tube here for at least the, there we go actually that screwdriver might work really well and uh, I was trying to figure out how I could subtly without getting it all over the bike what I'll do it's a cat full so if it does well when it does run it's not gonna go everywhere We'll get some of it down there. You know what I should do? Forget this little Allen key, that's not gonna do anything. There, I don't care if I get alcohol on the bike. It's not gonna hurt it. Oh, I feel it slipping off. There we go. All right. Close that, because that evaporates pretty quick. I'm just not, I'm just thinking about riding. I'm not thinking about building anymore. I just want to take this thing out and cruise. There you go, gentle with that, because that's hydraulic. I don't want to pinch the lines. And, uh, well, it's pretty obvious that the thumb throttle is going to have to go behind the shifter. Okay, so thumb throttle, like that. It's a little chintzy. It is the one that comes with the kit. But I can always upgrade it later. It's more about functionality at this point than anything. If it's doesn't last, then I'll just replace it. Throttle's like the cheapest part of the kit. So. Okay. Let's see what I got to work with here. So here I am, I got my grip, I got my thumb throttle, which I'll, I'll wanna have it pretty high so I can, instead of pushing it in like this, I like to go like this. Uh, because then I can push my thumb up against it to hold speed, right? I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know, normally I guess people probably would have it like this where you're pushing in the throttle, 
but I'm actually thinking about doing this so that I can hold my thumb up against it for cruise control, basically. Okay, so I got the throttle on. Oh, the brake sensors. Let me get those brake sensors on. All right, so here we go. We got, we got this flat area here, all right? Basically what I'm doing is I'm mounting the sensor. I'm mounting the sensor like that. Yeah, so that it's, and I could actually put it like that, to be honest. That'd probably stick a little better. I just want to get this done. Uh, it's been here for five days. I expect it to be riding this thing uh, day two or day three at the most. Not day five. I will probably won't even really get to ride it today. The sun will be going down. I'm do this. I'm not cutting my hand. That won't peel that piece of tape off so it won't stick to the handle. I don't know what these technical terms are called. Like I said, I'm not a mountain biker. It's funny to come down to using some kind of uh, rubber cement instead of the VHP tape. Because that will just permanently hold it on. What's going to have to do? I can. What, I'm, what I plan on doing here is zip, doing a little zip tie around here to hold it so there won't be any tension. If there's no tension on it and I don't bump it with my fingers too much, I mean, it'll stay. It's really the magnet I'm worried about because, you know, you can't lose this. This is connected to the bike, but these little tiny magnets, man, that'll be gone. This is really an optional component. I mean, a lot of people don't even bother putting them on. I do because... It's just kind of a safety thing. You don't want to not pay attention, have your throttle all the way down, or say there's something happens with the, the cabling. So there's a short or something and the motor just goes at full throttle and you have no way to stop it. Well, if you have actuators on your brakes, you hit both brakes, one of them's gotta work to cut it off. So the oils from my skin would actually destroy the magnet. Now that's probably too far away. But what I'm gonna to do to test it is turn the battery on. Uh, engage Luna. Okay, so here's the brake actuator, which I need to plug in, obviously, for it to work. Okay, so this one is good. Okay, it's not applying throttle. Um, that means this is too far away. Okay, got throttle. So see where it's at? Now if I put this, pull this in slightly. Okay, that's where it cuts off. Right about there is where it cuts off. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, the other side's about the same. It's about the same. It's about that far before it cuts it off. So we're gonna go ahead and put some pressure on the magnet. Let me shut the battery off. I don't wanna accidentally launch this thing into my groin. All right, we got the brake sensors, we got the throttle. Now uh, I'm gonna put the battery back on. I'm not gonna record that because I already did that for you guys and so you see how I'm gonna put it on. And then it's just gonna be zip tie everything, get the pedals on and I'm gonna take this thing for a spin. All right. There she is in her completed form. Uh, all I did was I just zip tied everything. You didn't really miss anything. I put the pedals on, put the battery back on, zip tied all the cables. It's something anybody can do. Well, it should be completely rideable. I do need to adjust the derailleur. I need to adjust the fork. But I, what I wanna do is I just wanna take it for a spin up here. So here we go, this is the first, first ride, guys. Take the plastic off of that. Okay, here goes the first ever ride on the e-bike. Let's hope that it works. Oh, 
Pedal Assist Works. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of pedal assist. They weren't kidding when they said pedal assist. <laughs> Full throttle, so it's not super fast in this gear, but Tell you what, it's climbing right up it. Here comes a car, so I'm gonna turn around. Feels pretty good. I think I need a little more, little more in the uh, tires, especially the rear. I bet you with the smaller chain ring, this thing would, this thing would really, really hustle. I mean, look, I'm in. I don't know if I can even shift it into one more gear higher because there's just not enough chain. Come crawling faster. Eight tenths of a mile already. Man, what a beast. What a beast. You little baby, you wanna go for a ride on the bike? Huh, wanna go for a ride on the bike? He doesn't like gloves. Huh? Well, you, don't, you guys don't need to see any more of this. I am pretty much very, very, very pleased with the bike. And uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So that's it for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed the bike build. This is probably gonna be a multi-part video. Well, it's definitely gonna be a multi-part video. And you'll say, Goodbye with Odin. You gonna say bye to the peoples? You're not gonna talk now? You decided to be quiet because I've been ignoring you, so now you're mad at me? Yeah. All right, see you all later.